This year has been our biggest year yet. This year, we have won the World Tour Championship. Britain's strongest man, Europe's strongest man. And the biggest of them all, the world's strongest man. This is what I did to become the best in the world. What's made this year different than every other year, me, myself, competing is that uh, I took the more professional uh, approach to strongman. And obviously, we started a business, myself and Luke, and I took a more professional approach approach into business prior to 2021 i've had dan for a few years longer than luke as he said you know i've met him in junior level when i was competing back then i think i've been with him for two or three 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 years now and um it was easier for me to go straight in with dan uh and not have to kind of trust him or anything because i kind of knew what dan had done and um i didn't really have a coach before then i was just he just said you know let me take control of your training and we can go from there and that's what i did you know i wasn't really professional then i was in junior level coming through the ranks so having a coach like dan then was kind of a really really good um you know good thing to come and then obviously as 2020 came to a close obviously i said to dan 2021 is when i want to win world's strongest man and want to kind of win a few more competitions and then that's when he kind of took luke on as well and we came more professional with each other more not just being like friends, more just being a coach and athlete relationship. And that's what I think kind of benefited me going in towards the World Strawless Man this year. And then the biggest thing for me for was men- mentality and uh, obviously um, making sure the stuff I did out the gym was going to help me grow as a person in the gym and as a better person like throughout life so obviously you know like stop going out with friends and doing that kind of stuff that's good to do maybe now and then but not every single time and that's kind of what i learned you know to be a professional athlete you have to be professional in everything you do not just in the gym so that was a big learning curve for me coming into 2021 as well because i just thought oh i've got a coach um i don't need anything else i can just you know live my life as it is so then finding Nathan as well, as a nutritionist, I think it was in 2021 I found him, um, so to kind of be with him first, again, and then Luke coming on board as well was, again, a good thing, when you can have the same coach and nutritionist as your brother, it's so much easier to link with each other in training, you know, we're eating the same food and we're doing the same thing, so we don't have to switch things up when we're in the gym, which before 2021 was a bit of a pain, because obviously Luke had his own stuff, I had my own stuff, so it didn't. I don't think it... Uh, combined it very well but like i said 2021 gym wise has been the best you know same coach same nutritionist it's all come together nicely we've vibed off each other you know uh, nathan just can see that dan can see that and it's been a big massive kind of teamwork to get us to where we are now and then uh yeah the biggest kind of change for me was the mindset so um i've always been weak-minded in myself i always thought like you know I've always let people talk that you're going to be the next big thing, you're going to be this, you're going to be that. Um, I've always kind of took myself out of uncomfortable situations. I never wanted to, like, uh, I've always wanted to stay in the comfort zone, you know, so hiding behind people, not uh, going into the big bad world and doing stuff that, you know, if it, if you fail, you fail. It's one of them things, there's failure in life and you have to kind of admit it and if you fail, you fail, like I said. So, um, yeah, Amy is a clinical psychologist and... Obviously, me having autism, uh, she had, she'd been working with Luke before, and it was Luke that said, you know, maybe have a go at her, and um, these kind of things, I was kind of like, you know, I'm not really, with people like this, sorry, with people, usually I'm like, I'll give it a go, but because it was so close to World Straw's man, and because it was something so big, you know, trying, trying to change my mindset, I thought my mind was set as it was, you know, being autistic, I thought this is how I'm going to do it, and this is how I'm thinking, and to then to try and talk to someone to try and change it i was like this isn't gonna work um it was i could see it was working for luke but because i didn't because luke didn't have autism i thought this lady can't do anything with someone with autism but uh you know i gave it a go the first two weeks were really really hard um for me you know it drained me talking about all this stuff and putting my mind into places where i've never been before like i said i've always been in that comfort zone in 2020 and 1918 etc so to, in 2021 to kind of express the things to express things and to really talk about my autism in depth and to go to places that i've never really been f- in my head really drained me and affected me for two or three weeks in the gym in business into life but then once my mind then realized what it was 
you know, it kind of clicked and was like, all right, right, this is how, this is my routine now. So once I started talking to Amy more, getting comfortable with her, kind of knowing what she was doing and, knew, and knowing that she what she was talking about really, really helped me because then my training went from good, well, both my, mine and Luke's training went from good to world-class just with Amy talking to us in 2021. I think Amy was obviously the reason why I won World Strongest Man. Obviously, there's hard work for us, but in Strongman, it's a lonely sport, but it's the people you have around you that help you win it. Um, like Luke said in his chat, you know, you can have the wrong people around you and that can only get you to a certain level in the sport. But then when you have those extra two or three people that really want to uh, care about you for who you are and want you to be the best and succeed, then that's the people you should be around. So having Amy on uh, board kind of was the, like, the missing piece in my jigsaw and she really, really helped me. Like I said, believe, you know, I went into World Strawers Man this year saying that I'm the best in the world before it started that my mindset was never going to be broken and doing stuff that I never thought was possible in my mind. And, you know, still to this day, I, you know, I thank Amy for that, thank Dan for the training and uh, Nathan for the nutrition. And then, you know, all the, the all leading up to all that kind of stuff as well, we have a business and I put the business, I didn't really think much of the business at the start. You know, I thought it was not saying it as a bad thing, but, you know, I need to, I need to see things work before, I go full into it. It's just how my brain works. You know, that's why I didn't trust Amy at the start. I didn't think she was going to do anything. So, you know, having the business in the wee office in the gym, I thought, you know, this is just going to be maybe myself and Luke just running this. And maybe like Luke said, we were, he was, we were trying to do a lot of orders and stuff and it was all getting to me. And I didn't really want to do too much with the business. I was like, like I'm just going to put that in the back burner and then I let Luke do too much and he's stressed. So, that the business side of things for me wasn't I was trying to still get the balance of that and trying to work out what the best way to do that for me would be. And Amy just even though she'd helped me with the physical side of things, obviously the gym stuff, the business thing again, she helped me with me uh, amazingly. Because in school you don't learn about this stuff. Uh, in school I didn't do very well, but in twenty twenty one was the only year I've kinda learned how to, you know, run a business, how to deal with kinda business inquiries and sponsorship things and stuff because I've always let other people do that so now to kind of take the step forward and help Luke do that you know run a kind of successful business within a year and a half already having it yeah it's a very good thing but I never thought I should have you know I should have put myself into the deep end straight away but I never did that and now putting myself in the deep end in 2021 and realizing that you can fail and things don't work out and it's a marathon not a sprint that's what I need to realize as well with business it's you know a marathon uh marathon not a sprint and not everything is going to come together slowly but surely so yeah like it's like luke said 2021 has been our biggest year in the gym out the gym business wise we have grown fanatically this has still not been on tv yet uh the world strongest man britain's or europe's still not been on tv yet or the world tour final so again when this goes on tv as well we're going to blow blow up even more but for me 2021 is just a wee outline of what we can do um, I knew that myself and Luke got the right people behind us. We did the right, we got our business and strong man, uh, no, sorry, business, personal life and training uh, in a balance that we would be the unbeatable packages. And that's what we've done, you know. It took me longer in the business side to get it right. And uh, it took Luke less time. But then now, I've got, now we've both got it right. We've both got the training right. We've both got the right people around us. We've got people willing to work and wanting us to succeed it's our great team we've got around us and yeah 2021 is just kind of the start of what's yet to come you know we'll be talking about this 2021 this is the start of greatness but from every year now we're going to be adding something every year to the list of accomplishments and to leave this legacy the team around us you know i think the team that we have now with nathan dan amy gabriel simon harry you know the, the circle that we have is unbreakable now. So that is testament to not just us, but everyone that works with us, that helps us. You know, Sinead, Cushy, our dad, our family, you know, that's what keeps us going. And I think, yeah, I agree with Tom. 2022 is going to be, yeah, where the real legacy starts. You know, we've, we've kind of started the legacy and it's just going to grow and grow and grow. And we can't wait to show you what we've got planned. We can't wait to see what you guys are doing to 
you know, create your legacy as well. So it's not just about us, it's about everyone else. So yeah, 100% agree with everything you said there, Tom. But you spoke really well. Um, and even just you speaking as well. You know, it's amazing to see the progression this year that you've come on. You know, I'm exceptionally proud of, you know, how you've handled yourself. You know, speaking on the BBC and all these news channels you're going to, you're doing that by yourself. And I think that's a testament to you and the work you've put in. So I take my hat off to you, sir. Congratulations on the best year of your life. And here's to 2022 being even better. That's what I did differently in 2021 to become the world's strongest man. Tune in to our next video to see myself and Luke's favourite things that happened in 2021. Stay safe, smile and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. Ring -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling.